what I expect when football is back on is joyous, joyous, joyous scenes. Players who will appreciate the game so much more. Managers who will understand the game so much more. The FA were very clear, very concise um, in the way that they delivered the information to all of the football clubs, including us, um, regarding the lockdown and the um, and the postponement of all football matches and league matches. They also advised that there would be no training, no training sessions, um, and no interaction basically with any football teams um, or any sporting events. Um, so they were very clear, very quick, and as soon as the government had advised that football, football was to be stopped and postponed, um, they were very quick to provide that information to us. The camaraderie and you know the banter and the link up and the brotherhood that the team generates has kind of you know it's not the same. It's just not the same. You know, we've done video calls and we've kept obviously kept in touch with the players as much as we can. Um, everybody has their own groups of families and friends that they Zoom calling um, and, and video calling. Fitness is going to be very, very interesting to see um, what the fitness levels will be like. I know some people are still staying fit and still trying to, to maintain the fitness. And some people have not, shall we say. Um, but so the physical aspect of things will definitely have made a, a, a big difference. So it's nearly three months. Um, more so is the psychological difference where you have some people that have got a lot of connections, family connections and friend connections, which have kept them, you know, kept them going. Another way that it could be detrimental in terms of the amount of time everything will take to do um, for certain things for, for, you know, for football. So 35,000 of people entering St. Mary's moving forward, if everybody has to be hand sanitized before they go to watch a match, um, sprayed and masked and wherever it might be there's a there's a process to it I expect from football when it starts a minute silence for the people that have have died to COVID-19 and a minute's applause uh, for the NHS staff that have, have literally laid down their lives to help us and to help people get better um, and then the beautiful game to start goals goals more goals